Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Greg and BrickTech is the channel where I share my Lego collecting journey every day. I know there's some people that are in a panic right now because the seat beside me is empty. For you five people that thumb down all my videos, you're going to be very happy because this is going to be a Clark free video. The reason Clark isn't in the video today is because we got a really late start today. This morning was really busy. So it's lunchtime right now and he's upstairs currently having lunch with Mrs. BrickTech and he's going to be going down for a nap right after that. So I'm going to be rolling solo here today and we are back into the Lego mystery pile if you couldn't tell, which I know some of you are getting kind of sick of, I'm sure, because you know I have this backlog that's sitting over here that's ready to be built, but I had some viewer requests or suggestions, I guess, to build a couple sets out of here that they saw in the pile. And the first one is Lego set 7188 King's Carriage Ambush. I'll show you a picture of what this set looks like. Here's what the entire set looks like and the giveaway were the horses that Clark was playing with in one of our previous videos. So obviously the main thing that I want to build from this is the carriage and I got started on it a little bit here. I can tell you already this isn't going to be 100% accurate. I've had to substitute a couple colors in here like that's not supposed to be white and a couple of these black pieces are supposed to be gray but I made do with what I had in here again I want to keep this authentic to the pieces that are in the pile and I don't want to go into my collection we're missing this window piece here so that's obviously not there and it's supposed to have a treasure chest on the back here but that wasn't in the pile either so it's just going to be blank there so if you're okay with just a couple substitutions here and a couple missing pieces I think we're gonna be able to build this up I do have the most important things which are the horses I think I am missing one of the I don't know what you want to call these. I guess it's sort of like a horn that goes up there. I only have one of those in the pile, so one of the horses is going to be without. The other thing I'm going to build today that I got a request for was to finish SpongeBob's boat. This is where it's at so far. Obviously, this one is the most recognizable thing that we found in the pile here, and I think it would be cool to finish this out if we do have all the pieces. I think I'm probably going to take off Clark's customization back here where he put the custom minifigure that he designed. So hopefully this video is going to be a two-for-one. We'll get the King's Carriage ambush done and also SpongeBob's boat. If you guys do want some information on this set, it's 3815 Heroic Heroes of the Deep if you're looking to buy or build this on your own. Again, I'm kind of running short on time, so I won't have a whole lot of build footage here. I'm just going to build them up and show you what they look like when they're done, hopefully as complete as possible. All right, guys, it's a little while later, and Clarkman is officially down for his nap, so i got to be quiet during this section of the video. But as you can see, I got both of my builds done. Both went really well, considering I was pulling pieces from a mystery bag. I want to show you both of these, but I'm going to start out with this one. This is 7188. King's Carriage Ambush. Overall, it turned out really well. Again, I had to substitute some colors in here, but it's nothing that really stands out. There's the horse in the front with the missing unicorn piece. Not really sure what you want to call that. But here's the side. Luckily, I had both of the shields on the sides and I've got the, the weapon as well. I did have to do a little substitution here for the carriage driver. I didn't have the gray pants that he's supposed to have, but everything else is complete with him. Another thing I had to change were these flags. These aren't supposed to be red. I think they're either black or dark gray. And then along with these red flags, there's also supposed to be a gold flag below that. And I didn't have those at all. And also I told you earlier, I didn't have the treasure chest that's supposed to go on the back here. And I think that has like an action that it pops off, which is kind of cool. Before we open this up, I'll give you a look all around this. And again, if you do have this set, you're probably noticing a lot of the colors are off, like I mentioned. But again, not a big deal to me. The main thing is just having something fun for Clark to play with. And if I could pull all these pieces from a mystery pile, even better. Inside here, we have a spot for the king to sit, which I will take him out of here, hopefully. And that's what it looks like. There's just a little bench in there. It's pretty plain in there. I think I mentioned earlier too, if I take the driver off here, I'm missing the little window pane that's behind there. But again, that seat's right in the way, so you can't really notice that too much. Just gonna set that down and I'll show you the King minifigure. So here he is, and I think this minifigure was a giveaway on this set for people as well. I'll just put the other minifigure up here so you can see him too. Again, he's not supposed to have black pants, but we've got two Kingdoms minifigures, and I've got a lot of other accessories and things. Like, I've got spears. I've got a bunch of stuff for this that we can add on to this. But I'm definitely excited to give this set to Clark Mann when he gets up. He is going to go nuts when he sees this thing, especially with how much fun he was having with those horses the other day. Now he's got a carriage. And now for the next thing that I want to show you, we've got SpongeBob's boat. It's a set 3815 Heroic Heroes of the Deep. I was surprised as just how complete this set was. I only really had to build the back end of this. You saw in the beginning, we pretty much had the whole front. I am missing, well, I'm not really missing it. There's this like telephone piece, I want to call it, but it looks like someone or something chewed on this. So I didn't want to put that in there, but that goes right there. So it, not a huge deal having that in there, I suppose. The main thing is we've got the steering wheel and we've got a spot over here for another minifigure to sit. So Clark May will have fun playing with this. Here's a look at the bottom and I'm seeing a piece that I'm missing there. Is that in the pile here somewhere? Nah, I'm not going to take too much time with that. So we are missing that piece, but again, I'm sure it's in here. I was just kind of going off of what was already built. And most of this again was already completed. And I think this is a fun little 
boat slash car thing for the little dude to play with. I was just editing the video and I realized I forgot to mention that we didn't have the front of these missiles. They're supposed to be like a kind of clear piece on the front of there. Don't have that. And these are all supposed to be down a little bit lower like that as well. So again, there's another thing that we're missing from this. In addition to that, obviously we don't have any of the SpongeBob minifigures, which I really wish we had, but sadly we don't. All right, so there is our two for one build video today. This is gonna be the end of the mystery pile. I think I've pretty much pulled everything out of here that's gonna come out of here. We ended up with a lot of stuff. You guys saw the previous videos where we built the Flying Dutchman, which has been modified by Clark. We've got the rig. We've got the Toys R Us store, which again, some people have recommended that I get the stickers for this, and I may actually do that depending on the price and BrickLink. But this is pretty cool out of a free mystery bag. We got all this fun stuff to play with. Well, Clark has all this fun stuff to play with. And now I get to move on to building some other stuff. So check back tomorrow. We'll have another video for you then. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.